So, that being said, let's start off with uh, one of my favorites from last year, um, Gravity and Falling! Yay! Yay! This one appears in almost every anime anyone has ever seen. People fall or jump a trillion stories and things happen that defy the laws of physics. Like them surviving. Example! Uh, yes. Yes. Children, in case you didn't know, Squall, or, uh, Cloud is wow. falling off Come the top on, of the building. There's these huge chunks of building falling, and they're standing on them like there's gravity. Well, yes, there is gravity. That's why they're falling! <laughs> but as we're going to see, it doesn't quite work like this. Uh, this clip is uh, excessively long. I'm sorry. I didn't want for it to be, but... But you have to, okay. you have to enjoy the fight to see. It's like the fight scene in the movie. Yeah. It's a 40 second, 46 second long clip. The movie's over two ah, hours that's long. And uh, Squaresoft still yelled at me for using this long of a clip. They took this uh, video down on YouTube uh, of the panel from last year. I tested it under fair use. Suck it, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> so why doesn't this work? Um, great video here, nice shiny, but let's try to simplify it a bit. I, last year, made a kind of nice, pretty little video that shows the same principles, but in a much simpler way, and man, this is some awesome animation. So one day, Bowser came down from Fiji, Mario rushes onto the scene to save the day, but Bowser flies off from the sky. Fortunately, bars start falling from the sky, Mario hops up them and saves the day. <laughs> so why doesn't this work? You guys think... Math? <laughs> Object. There's two forces acting on it. Obviously, you got the force of gravity. If you've taken a high school physics class, you've probably seen that as mg. I'm just going to call ga because it's some kind of acceleration. We'll just call it a because maybe this is the anime world of physics where gravity doesn't really apply. So we'll just call it an acceleration. Hmm. But you also have this resistive force, which is some constant that has to do with how dense the air is, how much it can move, called k. You got the mass of the object, and it's going to also depend on how fast it's moving through the air. If you're not moving through the air, huh, no air resistance now, but if you're a super jumbo jet flying at 100,000 miles an hour, yeah, you're going to have a little bit of air resistance. <laughs> so it's dependent on the velocity. So what I'm going to do is some of the forces, F, net force is some of those two forces. I toss a negative in front of the mg because it's directed down. I define down as negative just because, hey, it's Cartesian. Uh, I toss the calculus version of it in here. This is Newton's uh, F equals MA, but I use the calculus version of A, said DVDT. This is just something that's helping me define which way things are going. I go math, 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 uh, but it's to this exponent, kt plus kc, k underneath, and a g and a k over here. What the hell? Exactly. Uh, how do we sort this out? Well, g is gravity acceleration, k is a constant, so this is a constant. So that doesn't matter, we don't care about constants. This e, that's a constant, k is a constant, and t is a variable. It's one of our variables that we need, and here's the graph for it. t is this right here, and k and c, c was the constant from integration if you know calculus, so again, a constant. What that means is as t gets really, really large, since this is a negative exponent, that means this term is going to go to zero, which means this term is the only term that's left when t starts getting really large. Saying that in graphical form, you start off, this term is kind of negative and big, so it kind of starts off at zero, and then it approaches this constant called terminal velocity. That's the whole point of what I was trying to get at with those um, last two things. They're falling at terminal velocity, but then again, so are all the things they're jumping off of. So let's take a look at my little Mario demonstration and see how it would really work. So, one day, Bowser kidnaps Luigi. Mario rushes on the scene and saves but Bowser flies off in the sky. Fortunately, bars start falling from the sky! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mario. Bent, graph or bent physics enough to have a talking dinosaur on a cloud, we can't stop gravity for you. <laughs> so, gravity sucks. So the problem with that is that 
the bars had started falling before him, which always means that Mario's curve is going to try to catch up to that curve on the graph, and it will never get there. <coughs> Sad panda. Poor Mario. Aww. And now Bowser's going to have his way with Luigi. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he gave up on the... I should have used the princess. That would have made more sense, but I couldn't find the right support. Yeah. All right, Mario. So, gravity. Not just a good idea, it's the law. 